guys okay so what am i up to now so i am winding down for today even though it's only 8 30 and so i just came onto the internet and i looked for news on megan and harry and there's absolutely nothing new and exciting so i just thought okay time to make something up <laughs> try to time to create some fake news so i said i'm going to talk about birth i'm not birthday anniversary presents for megan from harry now i know this is their fifth year anniversary i think in the fifth year they typically give some kind of wood based products but i looked at wood there was nothing exciting i was just like just stop let's get her a watch okay harry we're getting her a watch for her anniversary i know she likes beautiful watches because I think she had I think it was a Cartier even though in another video I might have said it was a Louis Vuitton or whatever I mean but she had saved up one time for a beautiful luxury watch and um so let's talk about watches because I love I mean I love a beautiful watch if, if that's all you have what you know very simple ring I think a watch can be so incredibly beautiful so I'm thinking Longines Dolce Vita. Um, I think this is a French brand. I have no idea. You know, I'm not an expert on this kind of stuff. But look at this. Isn't this original? It's not original. It's like a green gorge. Look at this one. Louis Vuitton. And the price is not ridiculous. I mean, even relatively unrich people can afford it. I can't. I can but it's a gorgeous watch gorgeous I do think Megan apparently has a Cartier I think it was a Cartier watch that she had bought for herself look at the price on this it's like oh my gosh and this is in euros okay so I'm just saying it's a Cartier this is stunning really really elegant watch for you know really formal events that would go with a gorgeous gown oh my dear from Chopin love it love it this is another Cartier and hmm, it's not crazy expensive I'm really surprised I mean but it's, you know, it's a collection piece, you know, it's a collectible because it's not going to be your main watch, obviously. And it's not necessarily for super, super formal events, but it would not necessarily be for everyday wear either. It's sort of like those in-between events, you know, it can be professional, you know, going out for a power meeting with her agent, um, at WME to talk about a new collaboration for example very nice this one is kind of just this long jean it's like kind of too plain but you know you never know she might like that this is another long jean and it's very elegant obviously and it's not too bad it's not too crazy I like it Oh, very elegant you can wear this during the day nice this is breathtaking I mean look at this just absolutely gorgeous I mean j'adore oh. mm. mm. j'adore <laughs> this is another Cartier classic La Donna de Cartier 8,000 euros I mean you know nice I like the simplicity of this watch um, this is also Longines and you know this is just absolutely perfect absolutely perfect it's just simple and elegant and just perfect this one is um, Omega Sold. What does that even mean? I have no idea. Oh, I guess it means it's sold. <laughs> so this one is just for the idea. No idea how much it costs. At least a thousand grand, I'm sure. 
this is a fun watch it's, it's you know it's a nice collector's piece you know when you already have all the watches you possibly need and this is just a collector's addition to your already beautiful collection and it is by Swarovski which is a nice brand also and quite affordable you know quite affordable that's a nice brand I mean I don't know much about the brand but it might be a nice collab Swarovski and it's affordable for regular people you know and these would look pretty with evening dresses like if she has something very feminine with like you know frilly green dress or something to an event or an award ceremony absolutely perfect this one as you can see is a rolex was it a rolex that she had bought herself i don't remember cartier rolex i have no idea look at the price on this <laughs> so i don't know if this is a good collab because it would be very very out of league for too many people but it depends you know it depends on where the, the collaborations are placed I mean in very very high-end publications for very very affluent people it would be amazing that there could be some backlash with this one this is another vintage Cartier vintage Cartier from Vestia Collective very nice one is what is this this is a Patek Philippe and uh, it's, it's pricey <laughs> it is pricey but it's gorge very simple it's a day watch but day to evening right very nice and finally La pièce de résistance. This is Chanel, and um, I don't know the price on this because it's um, this is a collector's square type deal. So you know you would have to check the catalogs and stores. But this is a gorgeous watch, and I think you know Chanel would be such a beautiful fit for Megan, you know, in terms of brand aesthetic and just Megan's own, you know, aesthetic. I think it would be a really nice mariage in you know collaboration. Anyway. That said, I must stop because I'm sure Harry and Megan are going to just exchange, I don't know, <laughs> very simple gifts for their anniversary. But I just thought, you know, just, okay, simple gifts. And then there's that special gift in a beautiful box for the wife on her fifth wedding anniversary, husband. Okay. All right. So talk soon. Take care. Bye.